Good day, you big bloody beautiful legends. Welcome back to Celebrating Too Early. Here we have a classic running race. Surely no one is in any position to start celebrating. This is neck on neck. It's clutch. Oh no! Ah, you lost. The kid in blue snuck his cranium over the line first. Wowee. Fantastic use of the cranium. Here's another running one. Don't do a dance. You see, you danced and you lost. It wasn't the time to make a TikTok. These compilations always require some soccer wankiness. I mean, football arrogance. How will this shot on goal go? Blocked. Here comes the teammate to help the other team. What the fuck? What was going through his mind? He just wanted to do a big kick for funsies. He wanted to show off to the miso in the crowd. Well, suck shit, it backfired. American football now? This fella is bloody flying. Please do not do a dance or put your arms up. Avoid the temptation. Oh, he put an arm up. He eats the ground, also known as humble pie. It's not a tasty fucking dish. I don't know if the other team ended up scoring off that. The video just cut off. Anyway, Australian football, last quarter, kick after the siren, going for the win. Looks like it's going to split the fucking middle. No! Stopped on the line. Where's the dodgy celebration? There it is. Busted. Having a hug. Goal umpire wants to run away. It's very awkward. Yeah, no, yeah, no doubt about it. Stopped on the line. Oh, the camera operator stayed on him the whole time. That is brilliant decision making. It allows us to fully appreciate celebrating too early. It's important to remember this concept is not all about sport though. Sometimes when we're underqualified and do home renovations, we celebrate too early. Every fucking... Uh... <laughs> I appreciate and respect their attitude. Also, sometimes we celebrate too early when silly shit happens to a friend. He is so happy to see his mate injured on the floor. He starts reenacting it. He's like, oh, and then you went and did this and you ran and you went here and bam! Politics is like sport these days. Hey, we just got word Matt Bevan has won and we're just gonna pray. She is pissed off her titties, I reckon. Legless, maggoted, hammered. Nah, but I'm serious. Politics is way too similar to sport. Two teams win, lose, red, blue, bloody colours. That's all that matters to people. Isn't there a fundamental fucking problem with that? Oh, look at him. He's saying, oi, oi, quick word, oi. Quit celebrating, we haven't won, and or you have to stop creating these fictitious outcomes. It's not good for your mental health and the collective mental health. This guy's like, I'll buy you a kebab. Go-karting, always a bit of friendly fun. The fella in white is about to overtake. Don't put your arms up. Oh, he put an arm up, and off he goes into the bush. That is pure gold. Keep your eyes on the road, mate. You have a corner coming up. Nah, he chose the simple life, and that is the last time anyone ever saw Richard. This series is never complete without a cycling video. Arms in the air and stacked it. It's not over till it's over is the recurring theme, everyone. This is the end. Oi, I got 500 of these limited edition here's me face beanies. Look at this fan. He tweeted me one wearing his one already. He bought it via the email list. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Now you get them. Go get them. The link is below in the post description or the comments. I'll even throw in a free signed photo for you. Go.